Well, what do we mean by the wet bush? We mean eucalypt forests growing in areas of fairly heavy rainfall. They can grow from sea level to an elevation of a thousand metres, provided the soil is not too poor and the rainfall is over 750 millimetres. However, the very best forests are on good soils with a rainfall over a thousand millimetres. Where there hasn't been a fire for one or two hundred years, there is a, an understory of rainforest species. The eucalypts tower above the understory. There are no saplings or seedlings inside the forest. This makes uh, you wonder whether the trees are all of the same age. Well, are they? Let's find out. This can be done by doing some ring counts. I suppose you know that uh, a tree puts on one growth ring each year, just one. So that if you count the rings across a cut stump, you can find out how old a tree is. In this forest, the trees are 170 years old. The large trees in the understory are of the same age. Eucalypt seedlings cannot grow in the shade of the understory, and yet the big eucalypts look as if they have grown up through it. Eucalypts need a bare open seed bed to get going. Uh, the only way this is to be had naturally over large areas is for the forest to be destroyed by fire. There can be no doubt that any eucalypt forest with an understory of rainforest species began with the destruction of a similar sort of forest by fire. It's hard to find signs of a fire which burnt a long while ago uh, in this case, the forest was burnt at least 400 years ago, but by scratching around in the surface, you can, if you keep at it, find bits of charcoal. Oh, here. No, that's not it. But if you keep going, sure enough, soon... Oh, wait on, wait on. Yes, there's a bit. Very durable stuff. Black charcoal. In case you still have doubts about the part fires have played in this type of forest, here is an area which was severely burnt 42 years ago. The remnants of the old forest are obvious, and there is a regrowth of eucalypts and of the understory, all 42 years old. In most forests which have an understory of scrub, there are very big differences in the size of the eucalypts. Without making counts of annual rings, it is obvious that the trees are of several ages. But there is one count worth making, and that is of the smallest eucalypts and of the scrub. You'll find they're of the same age, 42 years. Now, this area was burnt in the fires of 1934, and so the smallest eucalypts and the present scrub came up after that fire. But the 1934 fire did not kill all the trees. In fact, some of them have survived several fires. And so has developed a forest of trees of many ages with an understory of young scrub. So in the wet bush, the first requirement for the regeneration of the eucalypts is a bare seed bed and this must not have scrub above it. Then you need seed. This is obvious enough, but what is not so obvious is that eucalypt seed does not remain viable on the surface soil for more than a few months. Seed for regeneration has to come from above, from standing trees, or if there are none there, man has to sow it. <laughs> 